In this video, I will talk about thermal energy inside the Earth. When we are describing something as hot or cold, we are referring to that object's temperature. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy or movement of the molecules of an object. For example, a cup of hot water at 100 degrees Fahrenheit will have the same temperature as a swimming pool's worth of hot water at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Their molecules will have the same average kinetic energy. Thermal energy, on the other hand, is a measure of the total kinetic energy of the molecules of an object. A swimming pool's worth of hot water at 100 degrees Fahrenheit will have a lot more thermal energy than a cup of hot water at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, even though they are at the same temperature. Heat is the transfer of thermal energy from one object to another due to their difference in temperature. Thermal energy may be transferred via conduction or direct contact between objects. Thermal energy may also be transferred using convection. Convection is the movement of a substance that contains thermal energy. Thermal energy may also be transferred via radiation. Why is the Earth hot inside? First, there is heat of formation. Early Earth was bombarded by many asteroids during its formation. This bombardment heated up the proto-Earth. As the Earth heated up to be molten throughout, denser material sank to the core and lighter material rose to the surface. This process released heat in the form of heat of differentiation. Most of the thermal energy inside the Earth today, however, comes from radioactive heating. Radioactive heating comes from the decay of heavier elements into lighter elements. Because Earth is more massive than the Moon, it already started with more thermal energy due to heat of formation, heat of differentiation, and radioactive heating. Finally, the Earth's bigger size also means it could retain its thermal energy better. The same way a cup of hot coffee cools off very fast, but a swimming pool's worth of hot water would take hours to cool down. In the next video, we will take a look at the effect of the hot interior of the Earth and compare it to the Moon.